and a Fox Carolina follow-up, it is the road we all try to avoid. And if you can't, you're usually stuck on it for a long time, especially during the holidays. Well, tonight, Greenville County Council voted on a major traffic project for Woodruff Road. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer was at that council meeting. She's live now along Woodruff Road with what happened. Well, council voted in favor of the Woodruff Road expansion project. So if you're out and about doing some of that last minute holiday shopping, you probably know how bad the traffic is here this time of year, especially during rush hour. But that could all soon change. And just know this headache, it soon get better once the project is finished. Out the holiday season going on, I think it's still a little bit bumper to bumper, given on the, the, the time of the day. But actually, holiday season makes it a lot worse. Woodruff Road is best known for the traffic, but Greenville County Council says the bumper to bumper backups could soon be a thing of the past. Everybody knows we have to do something about Woodruff Road. Council voted unanimously to move forward with the parallel parkway extension. The project will give drivers an alternate route stretching from Target to Taco La Barra which is across the street from Walmart on Woodruff Road. The project is good news for the nearly 40,000 drivers who hit Woodruff Road each day. I think anything's a better solution than what we have right now. So, you know, it is, hopefully it works. We'll see with, when the time comes, but I think anything can help at this point. The project will alleviate some of the congestion by adding a four-lane bypass over a two-and-a-half-mile stretch from Verde to Smith-Hines Road. And it comes with a $121 million price tag. The good news is is we'll be able to do it without a tax increase, which should, which should make everybody happy. The cost will be split between three pools of money, with 49 million coming from the state, 42 million from the Greenville Pickens Transportation Study, and the county taking care of the rest. There's really no argument about we need to spend the $30 million uh, to make this project happen. That's why we're meeting tonight, so we can get it done by the end of the year. And council says the next step is council says the next step is acquiring land, and once they do that, they are, they'll then be able to complete the project in about two to three years. Live in Greenville, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.